Hello Mac gamers and welcome to Mac Gaming Revolution. Today I'll be showing you how you can install Steam into Whiskey and run any Windows game from your Steam library. So first you're going to want to go to the Steam website. You can just simply look up Steam and head to their website. Next you're going to want to push install Steam. Now it should say install Steam on Mac because it'll know you're doing it from Mac. However you're going to want to click on this little Windows icon right there and get this steamsetup.exe file. Next you're going to want to open up Whiskey. If you don't have Whiskey installed, I have a Whiskey guide that I'll have linked in the description. First, you're going to want to push create bottle to create a new bottle. Make it Windows 10 and you can put it, put it wherever you want. I just have it in the default path, but you can put it on an external hard drive, put it wherever. So, you're going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine Steam and then create. Once you have the Steam bottle created, what you're going to want to do is navigate to the bottom right side and click Run. Next, you're going to want to go into your Finder. You're going to want to take this Steam setup.exe file, drag it into here, and then from there, double click it. Push Open. Or Push Open. And there you go, Steam Setup. You are just going to want to set it up, put your language in, do whatever. Choose an install location, push install. And then there you go. Finish. So it should update. That'll probably take a bit. And I'll cut back when it's done. Alright folks, and there you go. We're all signed into Steam and everything. And functioning normally. Don't see anything else. Yeah, you can go into your library. And then this is where... If you if there's any game you want to play, like Lethal Company, for example, all you have to do is just simply push install, and it'll install and just work. So that's how you do that. And next, what you're going to want to do is once you have that, all you have to do is simply close and reopen Whiskey, and then you will have a nice shortcut to Steam. You just got to open up Whiskey, double click that, and then Steam will just open right up. I have a few recommendations for settings you're going to want to have when you're running any games from Steam. So to find these, you're going to want to go to your bottle configuration right here, click on that. And then down here, for enhanced sync, you can either put E or M sync, both work well, honestly. It, it really depends on the game. E sync or M sync, just try them both out, see whichever works best. DXVK, I'd always, definitely always enable DXVK, it always, pretty much always enhances performance. And this is the metal HUD right here that allows you to get, well, the metal HUD, which will show you a bunch of important information like frame rates and stuff that you're getting for a game. So yeah, let, again, try experimenting with settings like DXVK and E slash MSync to see whichever works best for each individual game, as it is often individualized with the games. Like one game will work better with E-Sync, one will work better with MSync. Most of the time, just about all games will work better with DXVK enabled, especially more modern ones, so keep that in mind. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial, recommend it to your friends, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.